restored if I never lost my place? What would I know about his mercy if I hadn't gotten out of grace? Restoration, Restoration. has finally come. that makes you have uh -huh. and so we see Jesus even had a moment but it was such a quick moment and, and, and the moment didn't last long enough for him to change his mind but what we see is that Jesus is even more hard pressed after the moment to complete his mission at hand it's almost as if Jesus understood the fact that if I can just make it through this moment on the other side, I can get more power. Oh, y'all don't like this. Uh, he says, he says I, I must go through this thing, though. It's, uh, listen, Lord, this, if it be your will, let this cup pass. But not my will, but your will be done. Uh, why is that? Because he understood that if he had not died, we would not live. Lord, have mercy. He understood that if we did not get to the place where God wanted us to be, then all mankind would fall. That it would be an utter destruction of the creation God purposely set out to set in place. There is an authoritative power in you that God is trying to get you to use. Look at your neighbor and say, after this though, I'll have more. Yeah, so so yeah, in Matthew he says, all authority has been given to me, giving me power over death, hell, and the grave. Uh, he says, all authority. In King James he says, all power. He says that everything now that could possibly have controlled or influenced me before now, now can no longer influence or control me. He says, but after my resurrection, I have the power. Look at your neighbor and say, do you have any power? Uh -huh. He said, I've been given power over death, hell, and the grave. Herein lies the story of the text today. That while going through trials, we often think of the devastation of the trial that will be yielded. Ah, going to the doctor, we think of the pain we're going to experience. We think of what's going to come out of our doctor's... Y'all ain't saying amen. I, I, okay, I'll go a different way. Going to the dentist. Because nobody likes to go to the... Amen. Come on. Because we know that that is going to be inflicted on us pain because we haven't done everything we were supposed to do. Y'all smile at me and say amen. 
Uh -huh. and, and so we understand that there is a pain that is yielded from a trial. And a lot of times we don't want to go through the pain to get to the reward. Uh, when, when, we, when we're missing the key to the thing, that just because I endure a little pain right now, it doesn't mean that the pain will continue, but after this, I'm going to feel better. Uh -huh. If you've ever taken some nasty medicine, it's the first swallow that gets you, but the next day or so, you don't even remember, come on somebody, taking the medicine, but you're thankful that you took it. Anybody ever had castor oil? Amen. Come on, somebody. It, it was nasty going down, uh, nasty coming out, uh, but you felt better. Y'all better say amen in here. Huh? And so we got to see that wrapped in the pain and the discomfort we experience, sometimes we miss the possibility of what will come out of this thing. Huh? God could, could possibly come out uh, of, of this thing blessing us. It could possibly be that we as, as Christians come out of it better. Paul even says, and we know that all things work together for the good of them, the call, that, that love him. And, and we understand that everything is working for our good, so there must be some God in it. I'm going to preach in a minute. Y'all just hang in there, huh? And then, so technically speaking then, when the Christian even goes through something, when we're facing something, the glass should all.